had a different agenda, different priorities, wasn't really the, the father that was responsible. She grows up and tries to deal with uh, you know, the idea of having a home that's not the happiest. We all know people like that. 14 years old to help be the responsible child, she gets a job working as a waitress at 14 to help pay bills. To help pay bills, to be responsible, to take care of everything. 2002, parents get a divorce. It's not good. And at that time in her life that she just lost it, started spiraling down, doing things that she's not proud of, partying, drinking, not doing things that she's proud of. This goes on and on and trying to survive. And all of a sudden, in 2005, she meets her husband, who was in the military. She meets this gentleman and fall in love, and four months later, four months later, they find out they're pregnant. At that moment, the father steps in and says, you just ruined your life. Your life is ruined. Feeling like a failure, frustrated, what do you do? She goes out there and continues to write things. She's working jobs to make bills, to provide for the kids. And something interesting happened. Her husband in the military gets called away to duty. 18 month tour in Afghanistan. This is uh, 10 days after their third child was born. 10 days after their third child was born, she's stuck. Husband leaves, the economy took a turn for the worse as we all know. Next thing you know, they file bankruptcy. Feeling like a failure, feeling worthless, doesn't know what to do. Then a twist, fate happened. This picture you see is that kiss goodbye. Goodbye to my husband for 18 months. Husband leaves. Four months into his deployment, he hurts himself. Gets injured. She gets a call. They do surgery overseas. He comes home. And when they come, when they come home, they make a decision. That's a decision. The decision was, we're going to build this together. We're going to do Vaisalus together. I'm going to keep you home forever. And I'm proud to say, by the way, when you got injured, the doctors told me never run again, never play sports again, never play with his kids. Now they have five wonderful, beautiful kids and how she juggles a full-time, multi-million dollar business is beyond me. She is the one of the most powerful, strongest women. Now guys, please get up the two-star ambassador, Ashley Gora.